Welcome back. Today, we're going to start the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheet factoring trinomials. When A is equal to 1. So, basically, we're going to learn how to factor this trinomial. In my YouTube channel, I have put examples on how to factor. So, go check it out if you're new to factoring. So, and if you are here, you already know how to factor since you've seen my videos. So, how to factor. The first one you have b squared plus 8b plus 7. What we want to do is find two different numbers that multiply to give you 7, but add to give you 8. What are these numbers? You have 7, 1, negative 7, negative 1, Seven, negative one, or or negative seven, one. These are just options. But let's check and see which one is actually the one that we need. Seven times one is seven, and seven plus one is eight. Good, that is the one. So our factors are 7 and 1. So, I'm going to go over here to equation, insert symbols. So, go to text box. B, so it's going to be B plus 1 times B plus A. Sorry, 7. And that's it. That's how you factor it. And you can even check by multiplying this out. B times B is B squared. B squared. B times 7 is 7B. B times 1 times B is 1B. And 1 times 7 is 7. And you do get that. Let's go down to the next one. So here, we have to find two numbers. That multiply to 10, but add to negative 11. You know those factors? Those factors are negative 10 and negative 1. Because negative 1 times negative 10 is 10, and negative 1 plus negative 10 is negative 11. So, those factors are n minus 10 times n minus 1. And that's it. For this next one, you have m squared plus m minus 90. So again, we're going to find two numbers that multiply to negative 90, but add to 1. Because it's m squared plus 1m, which is the same as m. Now, what are these factors? Hmm. So, they are 10 and 9. But how do you figure out which is which? Look at B, which is here, at 1. If it's positive, then you're going to use the ones that you need. So, and make sure that when you add it, it is positive. So, the factors we have are 10 and 9. But it since it's positive, it's going to be negative 9 and 10. So, it's M minus 9 times M plus 10. That is our solution. Let's go on to this one. n squared plus 4n minus 12. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to 4. These numbers are 6 and 2. But 6, so n plus 6 times n minus 2. That is our solution in number 4. Number 5, you have n squared minus 10n plus 9. So, we need factors that multiply to 9 but add to negative 10. They are 9 and 1. So, but 
they multiply to positive 9, they add to negative 10. That is both or negative. So n minus 1 times n plus 10 is our n plus 9. So n minus 1 times n plus n minus 9 is our solution in number 5. So this next one we have b squared plus 16b plus 64. So what numbers are multiplied to 64 but give you 16 when you add them? There are 8 and a and both are positive so they're both going to be a. Which if you know here, it's going to be b plus 8 times b plus 8. However, since they are the same, this is basically the same as b plus 8 squared. So, if I can find that, you can go down to square. Right here, so that's the same as b plus 8 squared, or 8 squared is 64, and 8 times 2, or 8 plus 8 is 16. Number 7, you have m squared plus 2m minus 24. So, the numbers are 12. The numbers are 6 and 4. Since 2 is positive, it's going to be m plus 6 times n minus 4. Number 8, you have x squared minus 4x plus 24. So, two numbers that multiply to give you 24, but add to give you negative 4. These Let's see, 8 and 3 multiply to 24, 6 and 4 multiply to 24, and 12 and 2. But let's see which one. Okay, so and you also have 24 and 1, 12 and 2. And now you want to see which ones add to give you negative 4. These are the factors, but there's a problem. None of these add to negative 4. So what that means is for this one, the answer is not factorable. You cannot factor this expression. It just stays like this in simplest form. Number 9, k squared minus 13k plus 40. So numbers that multiply to give you 40, but add to negative 13, it's 8 and 5. But since negative 13 is b, they add to negative 13, both have to be negative. So k minus 8 times k minus 5. Number 10, we have a squared plus 11a plus 18. Numbers that multiply to give you 18, but add to give you 11. They are 9 and 2. So they're both positive. So a plus 9 times a plus 2. That is your solution in number 10. Number 11, n squared minus n minus 56. Two numbers that multiply to give you negative 56, but add to give you negative one or negative n. Seven and eight, but the eight has to be negative. So it's n plus seven times n minus eight. Number 12, you also have n squared minus 5n plus 6. 
So, two numbers that multiply to give you six, but add to negative five, three and two. Both have to be negative though. Let's test it. So if we have n minus two times n minus three, negative two times a negative three is a positive six, and a negative two plus a negative three is a negative five. Good. This is our solution of number 12. Number 13, b squared minus 6b plus 8. So, we can find two numbers that multiply to give you 8, but add to give you negative 6. So, these are 4 and 2. But since we have 6 here and it's negative, both have to be negative. So, b minus 2 times b minus 4. And you can test that, that negative 2 times negative 4 is 8, and negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. Number 14, n squared plus 6n plus 8. Two numbers that multiply to give you 8, but add to give you 6, are 4 and 2 again. Except here, both of them are positive. So it's n plus 2 times n plus 4. That is our solution, number 14. Number 15, what do you notice? A is not one. But what you do notice is two can be divided. This, all of these terms can be divided by two. This gives you one, this gives you three, and this gives you 50, negative 54. So what we're gonna do is divide all three of those terms by two. But when you divide those by two, the two doesn't just cancel out. It stays there. So when you divide by two, you're gonna get two n squared plus squared plus three n minus 54. Now we basically factored out this term with the GCF of 2. Now you can, this 2 doesn't have to do with anything for now. You can factor out this middle expression n squared plus 3n minus 54. So two numbers that multiply to give you negative 54, but add to give you 3, or 9, and 6. But the 6 has to be negative. So it's n plus 9 times n minus 6. The 2 times n plus 9 times n minus 6 is our solution in number 15. For number 16, again, a is not 1, but our GCF is still 5. So we can factor out as 5 times n squared plus 2n plus 4. Now, you can factor out the middle expression, giving us, so, two numbers that multiply to give you 4, but add to give you 2. These numbers are, so you have 4 and 1, 2 and 2, but here, 4 is positive and 2 is also positive. 4 and 1, you have 4 and 1, however, that does not work here. You also have 2 and 2 multiply to give you 4, but that does not add to give you, that does not add to give you 10, sorry, 2. So, here we can just go, so right now, what this does is that is just how you write it. 5 times n squared plus 2n plus 4. 
because if, if you can see, there's no two numbers that multiply to give you four, but add to two. So five times n squared plus two n plus four is our solution in number 16. Number 17, we can divide both sides. Everything by two, giving us two times k squared plus 11k plus 30. Now you can go ahead and factor out this, the middle part right there, giving us 2 times k plus 5 times k plus 6. 2 times k plus 5 times k plus 6 is our solution in number 17. Number 18, you have a squared minus a minus 90. Same thing, we can do our regular factoring technique. Multiply two numbers that give you negative 90, but add to give you negative 1. 10 and 9, so it's a minus 10 times a plus 9. So that is our solution, number 18. Number 19, you have p squared plus 11p plus 10. We can go ahead and factor this as, so the two numbers are 10 and 1. So we can factor this as p plus 1 times p plus 10. All right, and that's our solution in number 19. Number 20, a is not 1 again. But here you can just divide all three terms or factor out the GCF as 5. So you get 5 times v squared minus 6v plus 8. Now you can go ahead and factor out the middle expression. v squared minus 6v plus 8. And that will give you 4 and 2, but both will be negative. So v minus 2 times v minus 4. That is our solution in number 20. Now, going on to number 21, we have 2p squared plus 2p minus 4. We can divide both everything by 2, giving us 2 times p squared plus p or plus 1p minus 2. You can go ahead and factor out the middle expression, giving us, so negative 2, so the factors are 2 and 1 but one of them has been negative, so it's p minus one times p plus two, p plus two. That is our solution in number 21. Number 22, you have four v squared minus four v minus eight. So when the GCF is four, we get factored as v, 4 times v squared minus v, oops, not like that, minus 2, minus v minus 2, which factors as v 4 times. So the factors are, again, 2 and 1, but this time the 2 is going to be negative instead of the 1 times v plus 1. This is our solution and number 22. Number 23, you have x squared minus 15x plus 50. We need to figure out two numbers that multiply to give you 50, but add to give you negative 15. These numbers are 10 and 5. So it's negative 15, so both are negative. x minus 10 times x minus 5. That is our solution number 23. 24, we have v squared minus 7v plus 10. So, two numbers that multiply to give you 10 and add to give you negative 7 are 5 and 2. But here both will be a negative. So, v minus 2 times v minus 5 is our solution in number 24. Number 25, you have p squared 
plus 3p minus 18. So the two numbers, that, the two values that we're looking for are negatives are 6 and 3. But here, the 3 is negative. So p plus 3 times p plus 6. Sorry, p minus 3 times p plus 6. There you go. And lastly, before we go to number 26, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now. It will, all likes and subscriptions are very helpful. So here, 6 is a GCF of all these three terms. So we can factor out 6 times v squared plus 11v plus 10. And that middle expression factors out 2, 6 times v plus 1 times v plus 10. That is our solution in this last problem of the entire worksheet, number 26. Thank you so much for watching. If you have, if you found this video helpful, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Next video, I'll be doing factoring trinomials where A is not greater than one, sorry, A is greater than one, and you don't have any GCF that could factor out. It's gonna be a bit harder. Stay tuned, peace out.